let's uh, sort this out, shall we? So this is just a new setup that I'm trying in my makeup room with my Hollywood mirror. I will show you at the end because I've got it all set up ready. So I'm literally going to tie my hair out of the way and then let's sort out this face. Let's start with the face. I'm going to use quite a lot of like makeup revolution stuff because I went and bought a load of their stuff recently and I'm actually really shocked by it. I really, really like it. So I'm going to start with the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. My forehead is a joke, literally. Like, at the end of the day, I could do this and half my makeup would be on my hands. I'm just going to spritz this all over my face. I still don't understand how people do that without going. Going to go in with the concealer. Now, everyone's been banging on about this, saying how close it is to um, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm yet to try Tarte Shape Tape, if I'm honest, only because it's quite expensive for a concealer. But um, I would have bought it, but I thought I'm just going to try this. And I've got it in shade C7, which I literally, to be honest, I picked it up at this shade because it was the only one remaining on the shelf. And I thought, sod it, I'll make it work. And it's actually really, really good. So I'm going to put this in my problem areas, which is underneath my eyes here. Around my nose, as you can see, it's really, really red. And then I'm going to use this to cover up spots. Now, I'm yet to use their conceal uh, concealer. I'm yet to use their... Um, Foundations. I don't actually know if they have any foundations, but yeah, I'm basically putting this anywhere where I have some discoloration, a redness, and just for a bit of extra coverage. So, then I'm going to grab my beauty blender and I'm going to buff that into the skin. And I'm going to try and go around my eyebrows. My eyebrows are tattooed, and they were um, tattooed, microbladed, and then tattooed. Courtesy of the bestie, I will link her Instagram somewhere around here so you can see her work because it is pretty amazing. So yeah, my eyebrows are not my own, but I don't want to lose the shape. They do need redoing. I've only had them uh, tattooed not so long ago. I think it's the beginning of January. You've got to wait about six to eight weeks before you can go back for your top up. Foundation of choice, always a lover in my kit, is Skin Base in a mascara. I have it in shade 8. I still have like the remnants of a fake tan on. So I'm just going to pop some little bits. Literally, a little bit goes a very long way with this again. And this alone has great coverage as well, which is excellent. It's not too thick, but it is buildable, so you can actually keep layering up your foundation for coverage now if you have a really good foundation match you shouldn't get a line ever your skin is supposed to be your skin a lot of people go like two three shades darker because they want to be bronzed and things like that but then i always tell my clients the whole point of the bronzer is that you use a bronzer you, you know you match your foundation and you're supposed to darken up with powders or creams or anything like that but your, you know, your first base should be your skin tone. Otherwise it looks very, very fake. So now I'm going to go in with my bronzer, which is the Bobbi Brown, and this one is in Golden Light. And I've just got an angled brush. This is actually a brush from e.l.f. that I love so much. It's only because you can get right into your cheeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bronze up just the outer part of my face. So here is where we're going to start making and creating some dimension to the skin bringing it to life a bit more so just around the temples jawline is a must especially if you have a double chin like me and you want to change that up you're going to want to add some shadow down here Let's see how pale I look just going to brush it through the backs of my cheeks Temples again. Don't worry about over contouring at this point because we can do a lot more with like blusher and more bronzers. I use this as well just to go down the sides of my nose. I don't bother using a smaller brush because I don't want it to be a severe contour. So now you should be sitting here looking like an absolute bronze babe. I'm going to go in again with Makeup Revolution. Now this palette has had some severe love to it. It is called the Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. And this one is in Fair. You can see I love this shade here. This is like the perfect 
just smashing everything up. This is like the perfect bronzing colour to do some more contouring with. So this one would just deepen it up a bit more. Same brush. But can you see it adds a bit more shadow now? Just in the back, so. Just really bringing out that shadow. So this is what I mean, you don't have to go so ham with your bloody foundation and go like four shades darker. There's just no need to. This is what your powders are for. Use it, man. This is what creates the magic. Those high cheekbones. Just bringing it out the back towards your ears. Don't go too crazy with it. But just always remember to do your hairline because when you have your hair up like this, you get those white marks, a little bit embarrassing. Now, if you really want to bronze up and you're really into your bronzer, they do one which is in ultra light medium. Now, this is way too dark for me. I just cannot use it. The highlight is lovely. It's got like a gold flicks in it. However, this blusher here, beautiful. I'm going to dip into this gorgeous golden blusher and create some magic here. Oh, it's got such a nice glow to it. Especially in this horrible, shitty cold weather. This gives you just a really nice bronzed golden finish to your skin. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and run across the tip of my nose. Just ties in like nose to cheeks to me. Bring it up to my temple a little bit. That was pretty high. Same across here. Boom. Touch of colour. Loving knife. Okay, so our skin should now be glowing, contoured, not within an inch of its life, but a nice and natural contour. It looks like I've just been on holiday for a couple of weeks. My chin is looking defined. Just leave the face for the time being and move on to these brows. Like I said, they have been um, tattooed, microbladed and tattooed again. Um, I do have crazy brows. I've noticed that when Sarah does them, it kind of like makes my hair growth go crazy. So they do need plucking under here, but we're just going to see what we can do to shape them up. You can see like the colour, if I zoom in, the colour has kind of fallen out of this little section here. So when I go back, this will be redefined again. On this side, not so bad. It's just got crazy hair growth. So to do my eyebrows, I am taking um, the Freedom Eyebrow Promart in soft brown, which looks like this, and an angled brush. You see, is you can see where she's obviously done my eyebrows here. I'm just going to fill in this bit, and that'll make it a little bit sharper. And underneath as well. I don't want to go too crazy with my eyebrows because like I said they have had a lot of work done to them <laughs> bless them so I'm just gonna fill these bits in you can see right at the very front there hopefully it's gonna focus there are some individual hair strokes that she's done there for me they need to be gone over again just to make them stand out a bit more but I mean I don't think my brows are very fake looking and they shouldn't do when you find a really good um like brow artist, Sarah, um, she can do the individual brow strokes and they do look incredible. I mean, this one has nothing in it and it still looks like my eyebrow. So I'm just going to literally touch that front bit because I don't want it to be too full of colour. So I've always been super scared of doing like liquid highlighter. However, this little bad boy, liquid highlighter from Makeup Revolution, um, is in bronze gold. Now it scared the hell out of me when I first used it, but then I grabbed it on one of these little, uh, or you can see I've used it before, one of these little bad boys, and I literally put the drops on that first. So I don't squeeze any out of the pipette, I literally just place some on there because I think it can be quite severe. And then I'm going to just put it there and there. You know, there's not much left on the sponge and then I'm just going to push it into the skin but I'm also going to take it up underneath my eyebrow now the compliments I've had on this stuff is amazing dab it into the skin just really like roll it into the cheek oh. Amazing. 
Now I'm not going to take any more whatever's left on here. I'm just going to dab across the middle of my nose, forehead, top lip, cupid's bow, and just on the chin area there. So for my eyes, I have to do it off camera because I literally have to get so close to the mirror. There's no way I could film it. But what I use is a MAC 266 angled brush. And I've been testing out the Ilamasca Gel Precision Liner. And it looks like that. Not bad. Not as black as I want it to be though. So I have to keep going over it. But yeah, I'm going to go pop that on now. Now I've got a thing where I leave my eyelids quite bare. Sometimes I add a bit of colour on it. But on an everyday going to work, I literally just do... Lashes and liner. Now I have got a bit of mascara on from when I ran out this morning. But as you can see, it doesn't go clumpy. Now lips, I'm just going to leave be. I'm literally just going to put a bit of uh, Vaseline on them. Especially in this weather, because they are super duper dry. And that. A little bit of highlight that we put on does make your lips look a little bit bigger. We're about to have in all the filler done. And that's me done makeup wise. so nothing too crazy so yeah it's been a hot while since I've um, done a makeup tutorial but yeah I hope you enjoy it and um, I'll see you in my next video